Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the fourth and last part of this season's La Liga jersey review. This one I decided to wear my newly acquired Real Sociedad. I've been hunting down for Real Sociedad for over a year and so on and in the end I decided on last season's shirt which actually looks really 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 nice with a two-tone blue and so on. Normally I probably would have gone with Valencia uh, here but I decided okay I've been wearing Valencia so often so Let's uh, go for Real Sociedad to have a little bit of a different uh, taste to it. And Real Sociedad deserve it because they are probably one of the most exciting teams to watch in La Liga. And maybe they can do something. Maybe they can supplant at least Barcelona and go in a top four finish. Um, having talked about, we have already two teams that I talked about that are in this video. We have, of course, Sevilla in there, which bears, of course, uh, the question. Uh, what te how did I choose the teams? Now, if you've seen my uh, reviews before, you are very well aware of that. But maybe if you're just the first time viewing one of my jersey reviews, here it is. I take last season standings. I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 3, 2, 1. And every team with next to 4 to it is in this video. Now, I don't expect necessarily that uh, there's any first time views on this video, uh, considering the teams that are in there. But hey, just maybe you like some of the more obscure teams uh, in La Liga. Although we have two big ones in here as well, not three. So let's go. And when I have those teams, I sort them somewhat alphabetically, not necessarily of how the club names go per se, but I kind of, you know, how I call those teams. And so we'll start in Andalusia and we'll come back to Andalusia. Um, and we'll start with Cadiz, I think it's called Cadiz, um, which are uh, applied by Macron. And as you know, we have here Macron shirt. I'm a huge fan of Macron. Now, in this case, I have to say this looks like uh, just a Macron uh, template shirt with the weird slivering here. This, this, this is the one thing we finally have got rid of, like Nike and Adidas finally have got rid, uh, rid of uh, putting slivers on there. And now Macron, a brand that I really, really love starts doing that. I know you want to highlight the, your ventilation, but this is not necessary. Uh, I like the color, although it's uh, to me still a little, a little bit flat. There's also a little bit of a pattern somewhere in there, but one that I cannot really make out. I think it kind of repeats the triangular crest in, in a way. It's not an exciting shirt, uh, even with or without sponsor, uh, will not change much on that one. But I think a uh, Cadiz fan probably cannot uh, complain much about it either. I want to give it five stars just because, you know, classic shirt, but nothing exciting. Uh, a little bit more exciting, I have to say, is the away jersey. Yes, it gets rid of yellow entirely, which is probably a little, a little bit of a shame. Instead of the aquamarine, maybe a yellow would have worked quite well there. But, you know, you get now this kind of uh, bluish dark bluish shirt with all kinds of interesting patterns on there. Uh, it looks a bit weird, but also, I also think it looks quite interesting. I overall like the look for an away jersey. As I said, the only thing is I would wish that there's a bit more of a touch of yellow instead of the aquamarine blue in there. That's But well, that's my purpose a bit. But I think it's a seven star jersey. Uh, it looks really, really pleasing. Now we'll go uh, to the capital, at least uh, to the suburb of Vallecas, and we go to Rayo Vallecano, um, who made it into the league through the playoffs and are now a little bit tearing it, tearing it up. And to be honest, this is one of my favorite shirts in all of Europe. And I've been sometimes going a big, big, big a bit back and forth, not big, but a bit back and forth. Uh, whether it is really good, but I, I always come back to it. This is spectacular. This takes the jersey and puts the crest on it. At least the arrow. So you have a rayo, which means lightning, and you have it right there. Uh, you don't have the uh, usual sash, you have the sash with a lightning bolt. Yes, it's not very original because Roma did this two seasons ago, a jersey that I love dearly. So I was bound to like this one as well. Then, you know, with the arrow, the point down there, is it a little bit too uh, like comic strip like? Maybe, but you know, the crest does the exact same thing. And yes, the crest, to be honest, maybe could use some work, but on the other side, no. It, it works perfectly. I want this jersey. I really do. And I know I have too many white shirts here. Uh, maybe now in the background, it doesn't look all, all, all the bad. But you know, Spanish teams have a lot of white. But this is just so striking and so cool. And I actually like the sleeve cuffs in black with a little bit of red in there. 
really cool shirt. And you won't believe it, despite maybe I could argue with the color and so on, I'm not gonna deduct anything. This to me is 10 stars, I absolutely love it. It's not very ra rational in some ways, but I cannot tell you how much I love this, uh, this church jersey and I have made a spot, I'm gonna get this one for sure. Uh, the away jersey takes the lightning a little bit more in a realistic way. So you, we have kind of a Rayo look with a sash and then we have a lightning bolt within the sash. So it's black on red. Um, I was wondering if the home jersey would look like that. Would this look better? I'm not so sure. I really like the sponsor. Uh, it's just four let letters. It's bold, but it's you know, it's it's not it's nothing offensive. Maybe the one thing that bothers me is a little bit uh, red here. But other than that, also, I cannot fault it. I find the lightning bolt in there, although it's more photorealistic, if one would say. I find it almost a tad too much, but I still very much like the idea. And with red and black, you will always please me. Nine stars. I love Ryle's kit. And uh, this to me, uh, at the away jersey, completes probably the best set uh, in the entirety of Europe, I would even argue. I love this light blue, I mean, because, you know, we have white, we have uh, black, and now we need another color, we, we take uh, blue. Maybe a red would have worked better, maybe, but I actually like that they say, okay, we go blue, because, you know, lightning blue, there's also some sound, something like that. It fits very well. Uh, it's not as good as the home jersey, though. Uh, I also think the crest looks a little bit odd, but it's still awesome. It's absolutely awesome. Um, I'm also gonna go nine, I was thinking eight, but I think I'm gonna go nine, nine stars. Rayo, I love those kids, and I've been saying consistently, I love those three. And I don't even know between the home and the away. I, I want to have the home, but the away jersey is also kind of awesome. And there is a club that is easy to like as well. So yeah, there you go. We can only go down from here. And in a way, we unfortunately will. Although we're not going too far down because we're not at Real Sociedad. Last season, they had the blue and white stripes with, um, uh, you know, with the additional tone stripe here. Now, they kind of have this gradient going with a dotted pattern, which I think looks actually really nice in play. Um, it also, you know, the sponsor goes there, so it kind of lights, lights up. Unfortunately, the sponsor is kind of more boxed. It's not this iconic sponsor. I think it's, it's the Fee uh, Network sponsor. Uh, which kind of doesn't really take advantage of this overall look. However, I do like it that there are, this, uh, again, these two tones of blue. The one thing that I'm not so sold on is the color that then, you know, the white goes down the center stripe. That looks a little bit too odd to me. And for that reason, we're not going the highest grade. But other than that, uh, there's really not much to dislike here. Uh, it's a Real Sociedad as Real Sociedad goes. Um, yeah, the other thing is here, I like that the sleeves are also striped. The, the sleeves here are all Yoni color. So still a very good jersey. I'm gonna go eight. Uh, and then uh, the away jersey, yeah, Real Sociedad always comes up with something uh, special. Now we have this, how shall I call it, magenta color. Uh, I'm just thinking of it, if I get this one, my wife actually might like this one. Uh, but it looks like the underbelly of a snake. Which is not a bad thing for me, because I do like my reptiles, but uh, it looks a little bit weird overall. Uh, but at least they tried some, so something I understand that I also said that cannot, you know, having a white or a blue one doesn't make much sense, so you need to go a different color. You don't want to go red because it's Bilbao as well. Take that, that one. As I said, it looks a little bit odd, but at least they have been trying some, 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 some something, and yeah. Seven stars, seven stars. I'm feeling a cool, good mood overall. Now, the good mood is a little bit tempered by what Sevilla is offering. Uh, nah, don't get me wrong. Uh, when I saw this Sevilla jersey, I, I know this is a Nike template. I love pinstriping. Every pinstriping makes it better. And you know, Sevilla always has the trouble that, especially ever since I got to Nike, you get a white jersey with a little bit red and it's very unexciting. Uh, this one probably, probably one of the worst examples of that. I think last season's was kinda okay, but all then also not quite. This one, if you make, uh, I actually like this one uh, better. It is white and you have the pinstriping. I think that looks really, really nice. However, where I have to draw a line, even the sponsor fits the color color scheme. But this template is made for a huge sponsor. Then you have this huge gap in here. And what have, have I said, if you have a sponsor, take it all pinstripes and then have the sponsor being outlined over and it looks better. This looks totally odd. Now, again, 
It is a little bit safe, but this gap I just cannot look past. And for that reason, I can only go six stars, although I really would like to go seven or eight. Um, the Valvoline is also a little bit ugly, but uh, this gap, it just looks... Uh, there was no uh, real thought put into it. And, you know, same thing goes for the away jersey. Um, it looks a little bit better because it's all red and white. Maybe this is also one I could go for at one point. You see already, I'm uh, I'm making my inner shopping list for the next year. And let's see how many of those. Um, I do like this a little bit better than the home home jersey. So I'm going to go seven here. I don't, I don't know, red severe jerseys always jive uh, better with me. And then the away jersey. Yeah, this is the best look of this template. Black with the red sleeves. I think this looks really, really, really strong. Um, a highway it also looks for a big team like Sevilla. I think Sevilla... Look at what Betis gets every year from Kappa. And then Sevilla gets uh, Nike template shirts. There's something not quite right to me. And such for, for such a now, meanwhile established top four team in Spain, getting one template shirt after another just does not sit well with me. I do like the chili pepper though. The sponsor though, yeah, I'm not sure. Six stars. Six stars will go. Okay. And we are at our last team. Only offering by Puma, but we get four shirts for that. Now, uh, the Puma home shirts all have the same template. And you saw it already when I talked about Marseille uh, and other teams in my other re reviews, what, uh, like City, although City did it really, really well. Um, I do not get this side panel with the point. I understand maybe with the um, contrasting sleeves that looks pretty nice uh, we have also the valencia crest uh you know that's all nice the side paneling doesn't do it for me and then you know the pattern sleeves also not quite uh so but what really really drags this down is the sponsor i know vcf is valencia cf and that isn't very very nice but the dollar sign and the fan token and then the associates.com can't we just have dollar vcf and even the dollar sign, I would question. That is, the, the sponsor makes this look super, super cheap on a jersey that I already don't like all that much. Uh, you know, I don't expect much from a Valencia home shirt. I expect white with a little bit of black. I don't expect, uh, it, this is all over in many ways. Three stars, sorry to say. Uh, the... Away jersey also doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. You know, for me, a Valencia away jersey should be like that, or with some orange, maybe some blue, you know, stuff from color. Uh, dark red with black. And to be honest, if they would have used this template and just make it white, you would have a, your perfect away jersey. Honestly. Uh, but this is all a little bit... I mean, I wish there was a connection. I probably should have checked that. If there's something cultural with the patterning that's in there... But I, I don't care. Red is not a color that I associate with Valencia, although it's a little bit in, in the grass. But red and black, at least make it red and yellow. And then again, the same problem with the sponsors. Doesn't get much better, but uh, it looks better than the home shirt uh, as an overall shirt. So I'm gonna go four here. Um, weirdly enough, the third jersey, which has no crest at all, you know, the typical Puma stuff. But at least here the colors make sense. It is blue, light blue with orange. Yeah, those are two colors I associate with, with, with Valencia. And then instead of pulling the whole crest, they have only the bat from the crest in there, which actually makes for a kind of a nice pattern. Reminds me a little bit of the Queen's Reich logo. Yeah, Prog fans of the 80s, you know who, who I'm talking about, the tri Reich logo. So uh, there's something there, but you know, again, it is so bland, so boring, because there's no crest there. And I'm sure that the sponsor on there is white and makes the, you know, the sponsor pop out even, even, even more. So uh, while the coloring top, the execution flop. And so we have to go south to the middle. I'm also gonna go with four stars here. And then to top it off, yeah, we at least we have orange, but what is this color? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't like those colors. I you know, I like sock my shirt. Vibrant. That's what I want. Vibrant, strong, not gray with a little bit of orange thrown over. Valencia, uh, not as bad as Barcelona, but also not all the all the great. So I'm gonna go three here because I just can't look past the colors. Yeah, I rated the third jersey better than this fourth shirt. So 
That ends our jersey review for La Liga. Um, next one will most likely be Serie A, or it will be Serie A. I have decided already on that, so uh, that will be a whole lot interesting too. As you know, I love Serie A, so we have a lot of things to do there. In any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Uh, please let me know which shorts you liked in this video and where you disagree with me. That's for me always the most in, in, in interesting. I have a little silly comment because I'm not saying this is an overall, this is my view of the grade, so I have to say that. So please draw, drop a line below. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.